The Lusaka City Council demolished 10 illegally constructed shops in Kaunda Square Stage 1, leaving the owner and tenants in shock and uncertainty. So I received some sad news this morning to say the shops have been they've been demolished. So I don't know the genesis of everything. I'm sure the owner of the complex can elaborate more on that. Like for me, inclusive of uh, rentals, it's close to 110, 110 or so. I think government, especially for my youth, because we're trying by all means so that at least we can, we, can, we can have something going on instead of us depending on governments to help us. From the department, notice that we've given to the owner of the shops to uh, bring them down. And uh, the owner did not adhere to the notice and this prompted the council through the council police and the state police to move in and demolish these uh, paid shops. Uh, the reason behind the demolition is that uh, the shops were legally built and uh, without the planning permission of the council through its city uh, planning department that is uh, responsible for that. We would like to call upon members of the public to ensure that they always engage the council whenever they want to come up with structures everywhere in the city. And this is for their own benefit because by so doing, we are avoiding issues of having this demolition. Police have cordoned off Society Business Park in Lusaka following NAPSA's closure of the building due to structural failures, forcing tenants to remove their merchandise. Hey, they, are saying, they are saying that uh, they are that important tonight. So maybe that time we should have performed us tonight to say, well, this is a new problem. So I'm sure by now we'll have to find ourselves. That's the only concern which is there. Otherwise, we are concerned about ourselves. In Katata district, drought has left many households without food. Despite FRA's May sales of 330 kwacha per bag, the cost is too high for the most vulnerable residents. Mm. Due to drought, we never even ate fresh maize. All the crops were damaged in March. Right now, we don't know what the next day holds in terms of food. We would die of hunger. Chilila Bombwe Municipal Council has allocated 1.5 million kwacha for road rehabilitation to address the district's poor infrastructure. Bombwe Municipal Council saw it deemed fit to approve the CBD roads that were really in a very bad state. So we employed a technique of paving these roads and we believe it is a more sustainable, affordable uh, way of doing the roads within the CBD. We want to change our town. Our town is very small. So if we work together, we can make it look beautiful and attractive. It's a small town. So if we come up with good initiatives and plans and ideas, I think we can beautify our town so that it can reflect properly out there. In the ongoing trial involving Edith Nawakwi, the Lusaka Magistrate Court heard that Milton Hatem was wife and children were beaten by unknown assailants while he was allegedly in hiding. The Zambia Flying Doctor Service is providing specialized treatment to over 1,500 people in rural Katete, where hypertension is a widespread issue. So the patients that we have seen are coming from general screening, and uh, so far what we have noticed in the static uh, facilities we have is that uh, hypertension has been one of the commonest uh, conditions that we have seen, because uh, most of the patients that are coming through, uh, those who are above uh, 50 years, and these are the patients who are presenting with uh, poorly controlled uh, hypertension as well as undiagnosed hypertension. One of the issues that we have just uh, alluded to, what we have discovered, is that uh, issues to do with compliance is contributing to the number of high hypertension, especially in the, in the places where we have been to. The government has launched a cash for work program in Chilabombe to support drought affected communities through temporary employment in community projects.
for Work program is designed not only to provide immediate relief to those affected by the drought, but also to empower communities by creating temporary employment. As a district, all stakeholders involved are hereby urged to do their part so that we alleviate hunger and of course uplift the economic status of households hit by uh, this very drought.